Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 7th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a space weather update, world weather, and as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, keeping humanity aware and prepared, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, still observing those two large plasma filaments in the southern hemisphere. Other than that, pretty quiet right now on the sun for the last 48 hours. So we are expecting the coronal mass ejection space weather coming up from December 10th to 12th. Looking at incoming images right here on the left-hand side, looking at a large plasma filament spiral and ball of plasma. Just amazing stuff by Solar Dynamics Observatory ripping away towards our planet. Pretty active in the outgoing position. Both C-class and M-class solar flares in the past three days. But all the action has been in the southern hemisphere. And an opposite reaction on our planet right now, we are watching wild weather across the northern hemisphere. Looking at our sun the last 48 hours, multi-spectrum here. That was quite a movement with those CMEs. Watching the full effects now across the southern hemisphere of the sun is amazing. I want to thank everybody and I really hope you enjoy these images that I'm sharing with you today. And as well, let's give a thanks to Solar Dynamics Observatory, as well NASA and all scientists and providers. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3, Nothing to report. Solar X-ray flux is extremely low. Geomagnetic activity is really low as well. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 434, still slightly above average. We should be sitting at about 300 kilometers per second. We were up to about 519 overnight. And the phi angle is slowly starting to come back. Looking at the space prediction spiral here, you can see that weather will be coming in from the 10th to the 12th. Schumann resonance for today, a healthy power 35, looking at a pretty healthy spike recently with all of these earthquakes recently. Just over the past hour and a half, two hours, we've seen many sizable earthquakes off the west coast of North America. Here we're looking at Schumann power of 35, quality of 11.5. And here we are, this just in actually, this 5.8 just occurred off the coast of Oregon, 10 kilometer depth. All of these are off the coast and shallow. So not many people are going to be feeling this, but a 5.8, I think a few people might have felt it. That is a pretty widespread epicenter. Let's have a look at all of the earthquakes recently. There's been about a dozen since the event started and it started with a 4.2 and then a 4.4 and then another 4. Not much activity through California, but different activity there. 3.1, the Gulf of California, I tell you. And I had warned in, in yesterday's video, all of this activity was moving northward. So watch Juan de Fuca. And sure enough, look at what's happened. 5.5, 5.5, and that 5.8 earthquake off the coast. As well, looking at Hawaii, not many earthquakes today, but now that the atmospheric event has left the islands, this lava pool, Kilauea, has awakened yet again, looking at just starting to fill up after all of the pressure has left the region, quiet through Alaska. But watch for that to change in the next couple of days as well. Big atmospheric event coming in. Japan, Iwaki, 4.9. That's the largest through the, through the region. As well, Mutsu, Japan. And here's the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours. 4.4, 4, 417 kilometer depth, Izu Islands. So that's Nishinashima. Band of Sea, 5.2, 270 kilometer depth. And that, right there, folks, we could have another volcano waking up through the region. So watch Indonesia. Kokopo, Papua New Guinea, 5.0, and a sizable 5.4 here in Kirikiris, Solomon Islands. 
That's where that large one was a couple of years ago, caused a tsunami across the island. 5.3 as well, Kermitic Islands region. So all of the activity coming back to the regular culprits here, especially the West Ring of Fire, 4.7 there in New Zealand. Carrying on here, 4.6 through Central America, Porto Madero in Mexico, as well Venezuela seeing a 5.3 and a 5.1. Now that's pretty rare and big earthquake for the regions. I think it was about maybe a year or two ago that I reported a sizable earthquake, Venezuela. And as well, 5.6 here ringing off in Chile, followed by a 4.3. So lots of pressure being released on the planet right now. And I had warned that the last couple of videos because of all of the deep earthquakes, we're going to be watching and waiting for larger shallow earthquakes to follow. We are definitely in the earthquake event now, looking at another sizable 5.8 South Sandwich Islands and as well a 5.5, 74 kilometer depth. So that is a very busy earthquake map today. Let's not leave out the lonely earthquake here through the Eurasian Plate 4.4 in Murgab, Tajikistan. So now when we look at the last seven days, we're going to see things have changed. Even since last night's video, there is a lot of red. So that means we've seen a lot of activity over the past 24 hours. Wow. Sizable earthquakes as well. Luckily, no tsunami with the coast... Uh, with the 5.8 off the coast of Oregon. It's way too shallow. And luckily it wasn't on land as well. I just want everybody to stay aware and prepared. And please be ready. Have a plan. Have a go bag ready by the door. Ready to go. Much love everybody. This is a busy earthquake time. And it was forewarned. So heads up. Aware and prepared. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the top five volcanoes getting updated today. But we're also going to point out here that they did issue a tsunami watch off the coast of Alaska and BC of the US after the 5.0 earthquake. Now that only reported about a half an hour ago, but there was no tsunami that was imminent or reported. But they always do put a watch just in case. No tsunami expected. And let's get back to the volcanoes. Top five that are erupting today. Sangay in Ecuador. Nevada de Ruiz in Colombia. Fuego in Guatemala. Reventador in Ecuador. And as well, La Palma in Spain. Watching earthquakes come back to the region as well. Spreading northward across La Palma. I wanted to zoom in and show you here satellite imagery of the system that went over Hawaii. And this was a pretty big one as well. Very strong and vigorous winds. The velocity was just intense. And they had spent, sent out special response teams to help along the coastlines. Massive flood alerts through the region. And then look at the size of this low pressure system over Alaska right now. This is that massive superstorm that I was talking about. Watch for the long range here for things to change. Five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and daily events worldwide. Looking here, home base, Ontario. As yet, we get a pretty nasty nor'easter coming through this week. Most likely going to be a rain event for parts of southern Ontario, but northern Ontario and into Quebec. Watch for heavy snowfall amounts with this pretty nasty nor'easter. Long line of moisture stretching all along the coast and cold temperatures coming in behind with that high pressure ridge that jetted down from the north and looking across Canada cold temperatures extreme cold temperatures being reported already in northern Ontario Manitoba and Saskatchewan but watch for that to shift into the rest of Canada in the long range forecast but this is an extreme cold warning for northern Manitoba northern Ontario and Alberta and as well strong surf Heavy snowfall warning all across BC, down into Washington, Oregon for the long, in the long range forecast to Saturday. And then watch really cold temperatures come from Russia in behind these strong systems right out of the Aleutian Islands. 
It's going to be a long winter, boys and girls. So buckle up, stay aware and prepared. Maybe layer up in the extreme cold regions. But best of all, stay tuned with Morning Dew so you know what's up. Overlooking Central America, no major weather systems to report, but a lot of coastal rain through Panama as well as South America. Not much to talk about, but you could see heavy amounts rain through uh, later in the week through the mountainous regions of Bolivia. Big, strong, high-pressure ridge moving in off the west side of South America. Overlooking Africa, no major weather events have changed since last night. Europe, big low moving through the Mediterranean this week. And as well, lots of rain for the, the United Kingdom and Ireland. And I was seeing all over TikTok today, people putting up videos of the strong winds on the coast of both Ireland and the UK. And look at the size of the system heading into Iceland. Wow, guys. Northern Hemisphere is going crazy. Please share yesterday's video. Let's get morning dew across the world. We already have subs in 197 countries worldwide. Let's have a look over Russia. Minus 42 in the long range forecast. That's going to be swinging around. That's why I say extreme cold warning across the northern hemisphere right now. Early cold temperatures. Possible cyclone here developing out of New Caledonia this week. Actually, no, that's uh, Papua New Guinea. Australia, a lot of coastal daily evaporation rains, but other than that, it's going to be hot and one system lingering through the southeast of Australia. And then watching this big system move westward and then looks like it's going to jet north there and possibly join forces with all those systems heading out of the West Pacific. Boy, oh boy, are things ever just ramping up right now. ramping up i'm gonna leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere very cold and welcome to winter thanks for watching today stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew bye-bye now if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world Thank you.